Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am here again with yet another introduction video. This is actually a new project to me. I haven't, I don't think I've done this project ever before, um, at least not in a long time. Um, and this project is one that I think is going to be really good for me to rotate through my collection while I'm still doing my bigger project pans. So as you can see from the title, this is my project 10 uses. Um, and I'm going to work on 10 products in this project. And obviously the goal is to use everything 10 times. I do have a kind of a structure of what I want to work on. It's going to be a mix of both randomized products as well as hand-picked products. Um, and it's going to be from a couple of different categories. But before I jump into the products that I've chosen, I'm picking some randomly. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So like I said, I'm going to work on 10 products in this project. And out of those 10, I have four products that I want to handpick. So those can be from any category in my collection, but I think I'm mainly going to focus on like basically everything that is not eyes and lips. So kind of face products, base products, that kind of stuff, um, just because of the other two categories that I'm going to introduce soon. So again, four handpicked products, and I've already picked my four products, which I will share with you in a second. Uh, but then I also have two other categories that I'm going to pull from. So I have six products remaining, and all six of those are going to be randomized, and they're going to come from two different categories. The first category is eyeshadows, and I want to randomize in three single eyeshadows into this project. Again, completely random from my whole collection, um, and I want to use them, of course, ten times. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm doing my big fat eyeshadow project this year and with that project I'm going to focus on my eyeshadow palettes but I feel like my singles will be a little bit neglected this year which is why I want to introduce them in a part of this video. Um, so that is going to be the second category and then the third and final category will be lip products. So I'm going to randomize three products completely random. It could be lip gloss, liquid lipstick, bullet lipstick, lip liners, anything like that. Three of those as well into this project. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm going to work on, and that is going to be the basis of uh, this project. So of course, uh, it is called Project 10 Uses, so once I have used any product 10 times, it will be rolling out of this project. And when I roll out a product, I will replace it with something from the same category. So if I roll out the lip product, I will randomize a new lip product. If I roll out one of my handpicked products, I'm going to handpick a new product, and so on. So I hope that all makes sense, and uh, that's kind of how I want to structure this project. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you my four handpicked products and we're going to go ahead and randomize the other six. So let me show you those. So I have two kind of blush type products and both of these are very, very new to my collection. One of my absolute newest ones is this one right here, which is the Glow Gassim Beauty One from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pink Gassim. I have not even used this one yet. You can see the sponge is completely dry, completely clean. I have not even used it. I got this one for Christmas for my boyfriend um, and I'm really, really happy. He actually got me like a little gift kind of set with Charlotte Tilbury stuff. I think there was six products in there in total. I think so, five or six products, which I'm so, so grateful for. And this was one of them. I've tried the Peach Gas and Blush before. I was lucky enough to get that uh, from my friend Martina. She was decluttering it from her collection um, and I've been using that, which I really like. But I feel like Pink Gas is like the one that most people prefer. So I'm really, really excited to try this one and I want to get used to it now before it kind of just lays in my collection without being used. So this is the first product that I'm introducing. Then the second product is again very, very new. I got this one in like a makeup box kind of set from Cold Beauty last year, like end of last year, I think around like November time uh, or maybe October. But that is this one here, which is the Glowish um, by Huda Beauty blush in the shade Healthy Peach. Uh, this one looks like this. It's a really, really light blush. I have at least swatched this one out though, but I have not used it on my face yet. Uh, but I think this is going to be a really easy one to reach for. It's going to be quite a light blush, and I think it's going to give a good variety to what I'm already panning. Um, so that is going to be the second one. I know I'm rolling in two blushes, which might be crazy because I'm already panning three blushes. Uh, but, you know, it's all for rotation, and this is only going to be 10 uses, so... Even if that takes me like two months, that's fine. Even three months, that was really fine. I want this product to kind of rotate quite quickly because 10 uses I can easily do in a month. But when I manage these products into collaboration with everything else that I'm planning, it might take a couple of months to get them out, which I'm completely fine with. This is going to be more of a low-key project. Uh, but yeah, that is the second product. Last of Chic products, we have this one right here, which is a highlighter. 
this is one of the Kaleidos Space Age Prophecy highlighters in the shade Mars Melter. And this one is the original Mars Melter. Um, it is um, the kind of more iridescent one that shifts pink, I think pink to gold. Um, again, I haven't actually used this one. Maybe, I think I used it once. Uh, but this is another one that I got uh, from my friend Martina. Really, really grateful again. And I want to play around with this one more because it's been sitting in my collection for a couple of months now and I've barely used it. So I want to give it some love and uh, get some use out of it. So that is going to be my third product. So my fourth and final handpicked product is actually one of the categories that I said I'm going to try to avoid. But when I say that, I meant obviously the lip products and the eyeshadows. But I do actually have an eye product that I'm rolling in. And this is an eyeliner. So this is from MQNY. I think it's called McQueen New York. Um, and this is the waterproof pen eyeliner in the shade Deep Brown. So this is just like a um, liquid eyeliner in a deep brown shade. And I want to get use out of this one because I'm really, really bad at using liquid eyeliners in general. Um, and I'm really intrigued to try to use this kind of brown one uh, because usually when I do use a liquid liner, I always go for black. And I think it's going to pair really nicely with my Panda palette, which is my um, Soft Glam palette, um, because that's a neutral palette and I think this brown liner will pair really nicely with that. So that is the fourth and final hand-picked product. So let's move on to the section of the video where I randomize some products. So I have my Tiny Decisions app open and I have added all my eyeshadows and all my lip products into separate wheels. I think the list might not be a hundred percent up to date so I might roll something in that I already have used up especially for lip products or I might be missing a couple of things but I'm going to spend the next month completely updating it so it will be up to date but I have majority of things in here you know it might be like five percent of my collection max that is off and um, so it should give me a pretty accurate response. But I'm going to go ahead and pick three from each category. So I'm going to start with single eyeshadows. So let's see what I get. We have Satchi Garden from Cleona. Okay, I have used this one before uh, in my I Might Get In product pan last year. And I remember it wasn't my favorite. However, I know a lot of people absolutely love this eyeshadow. So it's going to be interesting to use it again to see how I feel about it. But that is the first one. Let's go for the second eyeshadow. Lothar from Sydney Grace. That is a matte. Okay, that is the second one. And then third one. Chasing Comets, Terra Moons. Okay, I think that's a purple eyeshadow. So two kind of purplish, kind of cool tone eyeshadows. And then Lothar is a I think a pinkish eyeshadow, so those should hopefully work well together. I think Loft of those is a little bit more of a warmer pink, but I'm happy to use all three of those. So those are going to be the three eyeshadows I'm going to pull in. I'm going to show you them all in a second, but I'm going to roll my lip products first. So we have my lip product wheel right here. And again, we're going to go ahead and pick three. Antwerp from NYX. Okay, that's actually one that I have used up. I used it up last year in my product pan, so we're going to have to re-roll. Silk from Maybelline. Okay, that is a lip gloss. Really excited about that one. I love that gloss. So it's going to be fun to play around with that one again. Inspiration Smashbox. I think that's a pink uh, lipstick. It's a lipstick. So that's the second one. And then the third and final lip product is going to be... 22 from Sephora, so that's a liquid lip. Uh, that's a liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna get those three products out, uh, well as well as the three eyeshadows, and I will show you what I got. Okay, I went through the list, and actually two of my lip products have been decluttered. Both the Sephora liquid lipstick and the Inspiration lipstick from Smashbox has been both been decluttered. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, randomize two more products there. Again, like I said, this product or this uh, list isn't up to date. I haven't removed all my decluttered things. Champstown Fantasy, that should definitely be here. That's another lip gloss from Fenty. Um, then we have the third and final one, hopefully. Poppin from Colourpop. I think that's still there. I'm not sure though. I'm going to look and otherwise I'm going to have to randomize again. So I'm back and all of those worked. Uh, I had all of those lip products in my collection still. So let's talk through the product. So first up we have eyeshadows. Uh, the first one is this one here, which is Statue Garden from 
Leona. Um, it's more of a kind of satin shade. It's one of their Earth Vibrant Multichromes. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to play around with this one again to see how I like it. But that is the first eyeshadow. And that is Statue Garden on top. You can see it almost like disappears on my skin, which is it's a little bit more subtle than I want. Um, and that's kind of why I don't love it as much. But it's going to be fun to play around with. I think, like again, a lot of people love this one. So we'll see how I like it when I play around with it a second time around. Then we have Termu's Chasing Comet, which again is a purple. You can see it right there. This one is probably the vibrant one out of the three. Um, I'm really excited to play around with this one. Not sure how much I'm panning at the moment that this will go with, but it is a beautiful eyeshadow, so it's still going to be fun to play with. And I'm, I'm just going to have to find um, eyeshadows to reach for in collaboration with this one. And that is its swatch right there. It goes from like a warmer tone purple to like a cooler tone purple. And it has like a greenish blue shift as well, which is really, really pretty. I don't know if you can pick that up at all. Maybe you can pick it up a little bit there. I don't know. But that is the second eyeshadow from Terra Moons. And then the third eyeshadow is this one here, which is the matte that I rolled in. This one comes from Sydney Grace and it's the shade Laughter, which is just like a nice, like neutral kind of transition shade that leans slightly more pink. And again, that is it swatched out on my hand. So that is the three eyeshadows that I'm rolling in. I need to use all three of these 10 times. And then next up, we have the lip products. First up, we have the Lifty Gloss from Maybelline in the shade Silk. This is what it looks like. It's a more kind of neutral, kind of mauve toned lip product. It's really, really pretty. I love this one, like I said. So that is the first one. Um, and you can see the swatch of it right there. That is Silk from Maybelline. Then the second lip gloss is very, very different. This one is one of the mini Fenty lip glosses in the shade Champ Stamp Fantasy, which is just like a light champagne kind of product. And this one is also a bit more shimmery, so very different from the other one. It's nice because I was worried with two glosses, but they are definitely different. So I think they will work in different ways. So that is the second shade right there. Then the third and final lip product is from Colourpop. And this is one of their lippy sticks um, in the Matte X Formula in the shade Poppin, which is this kind of really deep, uh kind of fuchsia kind of like it's like a muted fuchsia color um which is really nice as well this one is definitely going to be the purple color and that is it's right there so that is going to be the color story that i'm working on when it comes to my randomized products i didn't swatch out the blushes and the highlighter if you want me to do that for future updates let me know and i can do that too but those are going to be all of the products that i'm going to work on in the first round of this project let me know down below how many of these you think i'm going to hit my 10 uses on in the first month um, and I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.